Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, we're playing Lego City Undercover, The Chase Begins, and we're going to be playing this on the Citra emulator, so we're going to be actually playing the 3DS version of this game on our PCs. This is mind-boggling, crazy stuff going on. Anyway, enough of my waffles, let's get stuck into the game, and then we'll talk about it as we progress. Okay, new game. Top game this as well. I love it. Okay then, so as this loads, let's talk about what's going on. Basically, this is the Citra emulator. Like we talked about, we're playing it on the PC, blah, blah, blah. All that kind of good stuff. Anyway, this is the official build of this emulator. It's not a fake one. It's not a custom one. It's not anything to do with that, all that kind of stuff. It's literally the official build that is available on the website. Links in the description down below. You can download it yourself and you can get amongst it yourself. Okay, this is a 60 frame per second game and as you can see in the bottom left hand corner There is the frame rate. It's running at 60 frames per second at this moment now in the past This has suffered from huge slowdowns in terms of frame rate So in this test today, we're going to be seeing how it performs. We're not too interested in the game itself I just want to see how it performs so how you can play it yourself now, as you can see in the video section, it's playing beautifully. However, I have disabled all the audio due to copyright reasons. Nintendo love to take down videos like this, and I don't want to give them any kind of excuse. So, I've added some royalty-free music. I'm sure you will understand, but I can assure you that sound is working to its full potential. However, if there are any slowdowns within the game, that will then probably suffer, but I will notify you of that when we get to that point. Anyway, let's actually get into the game then. Okay, so as we're entering the actual game, we are now running at 26, 29, around the 30 frames per second mark. Okay, we'll see if we can get any improvement when we get into the open world. Right, I'm controlling this with my keyboard and mouse. So my mouse is over on the right hand side of the screen. I can use the secondary screen as a touchpad. And I'm using the keyboard to navigate. I can use my controller if I get myself a certain version of the build or if I use a third party add-on. As I'm just doing this as a demo, I'm just going to use the keyboard for simplicity sake. Let me show you what is going on in terms of my settings then. So in the emulation tab at the top, on the first screen, I've got everything set literally across the board and all these tabs set to stock apart from the obvious so i've got my details in here inputs are all the default keyboard commands graphically wise this is the only change i've made internal resolution i've pumped this up to four times native 16 by 960p now the next jump up of after that is 1200p and my screen size by the time this screen is made full screen and then we've got the added extra with bezels and all that kind of stuff that does then get it closer to 1080p than any other resolution also if i was to push this any further it would have more of an impact on my system rather than actually judging how this emulator is performing so at least now i get full clarity of graphics and i'm not having any impact on my system other than how the emulator can perform the rest of the settings are as per normal right now we've crossed that bridge. Let's actually see what this game plays like then. Okay, I'm not expecting full playability on this, but I can say straight away, let me find my keys again, there we go. I can say straight away that it's working better than last time. It is, it's a lot faster. By no means is this playable. I wouldn't get much enjoyment out of this. I'm sure that if I was to go over by some of these houses over here, and less of a draw distance my speed would probably increase as we can see minutely of course <laughs> but we get the gist anyway let's get out of there okay let's see if i can get inside a vehicle and see how this performs then i love this game it's supposed to be coming out on a pc isn't it it's supposed to be ported over i can't wait until that day comes at the moment i'm having to emulate it um, at the moment, I can get it to boot on Semu, the Wii U emulator, so I can play my game on there. However, it's not very... Well, let's say it's a bit... Okay, let's uh, acquire this vehicle, shall we? <laughs> oh, in fact, I'm going to get in this one behind because it's faster. Cheers, easy! 
There we go. That's much faster, isn't it? Yeah, that's not bad, that, actually. 36 frames per second. We're no more near full speed, but it's playable. We're seeing how it's progressing. Yeah, so basically this is working on the Wii U emulator, but it's very glitchy in terms of graphics, and it's still pretty slow at times. And for this 3DS emulator, as we can see, it's... Uh, it's not too bad actually, especially graphically, it's almost flawless, if not flawless. The only thing I would say is the frames per second, they need to increase. We need a good frame rate to make this a more playable option for us to enjoy. But, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying having a little dabble. And, I would say the frame rate is almost double since the last time I did this. So, hats off to the Citra team again, you've done an awesome job. We're still not all the way there for this game. But this is just one of a few that are a bit buggy. Let's put it that way. The rest of the games that I've been testing, especially the ones that I've been really after, all seem to be running full speed ahead. So anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure as always bringing this here. Please make sure you check out my new actual gameplay channel. Also, please like, please subscribe, please do all the things that people do when they're in a chaotic Lego world like I am now. But most of all... Most of all, you have a good day. <laughs> Laters!